Welcome to the family! Hey guys, today we have Movies Trivia Game by Go Games, and it is very simple. Adult game, ages 12 and plus, and you need two plus players. And it is really, this is the one and only rule sheet, which I love that because when we get too many rules and it's too complicated, I can never figure it out. But the objective of the game is to be the first player to answer two questions in each of the four categories. So you put the cards face down on the table and then you keep score and the oldest player goes first and they get to pick what category they want to go over. So just to show you one or two of the cards, you have comedy slash cartoon, action slash adventure, drama slash musical, horror slash sci-fi. And there are a ton of these, probably, what would you say, two or three hundred cards in here? Easily. So there is lots of ability to play this over and over again and never even really have the same question. So you're the oldest player. That means you get to go first. The oldest player is the first to receive a question and he or she selects any of the four categories. The question is asked to the person on the player's right, but you have nobody over there. It's just me. So what is your chosen category? Uh, let's do the comedy. <sighs> All right, this one's not going to be fair because <laughs> we were just talking about him the other night. Which Adam Sandler comedy came first, The Wedding Singer or Fifty First Dates? The Wedding Singer. Yeah, that's obvious if you existed at all in the 90s. Yeah. What category do you want to oh, use? Oh, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep up with you. Let's do comedy cartoon. Okay. Who plays the TV reporter Borat Sandiev in Borat? Oh, that's Sasha Bar Bar Baron Cohen. Yes. Okay, I can't... I, what's his middle name there? Baron. Baron, okay. Uh, I guess now it's your turn. Is it two answers per category? Yeah, you have to get two per category to win. Okay. All right, I, I'll just work my way down. I'll do comedy again. Ha. Huh. Who voices Mr. Fox in Wes Anderson's animated feature, The Fantastic Mr. Fox? That's George Clooney. Ha! Ah, I didn't think you'd seen that one. Yay. All right. Um, I, I'm going to try horror sci-fi. Horror sci-fi. Uh, Constantine is a supernatural detective movie based on which comic book series? Hellblazer, Doctor Strange, or Dick Tracy? Well, it has to be Hellblazer. <laughs> yeah. It has to be. Like, I didn't know it had a different name. Okay. Just for my own purposes, I'm going to, like, I'm going to space them out so I know this is comedy. That's horror yeah, sci-fi. Yeah, that's what I'm doing here. Cause then... It's said to have a piece of paper to keep score, but we're going to do that digitally anyway, so there you go. we'll save a treat. Oh, yeah, I got a pull yeah, for you. so I guess now I'm doing action and adventure. What historical figure inspired the mask in v for, Vin v for Vendetta, which has been adopted by the Occupy movement? Guy Fawkes. <laughs> I thought that one might trip you up. Nope. All right, what's the question? Drama musicals. Drama musical. Who played the King's Speech Therapist in the King's Speech? Oh, no, I saw that movie. <laughs> Gary Oldman or Jeffrey Rush? Mm, they're like the same person to me. I'm going to say oh, no. Jeffrey Rush. Well, you're right, but but they don't look anything like I feel like they are the same actor. <laughs> like it's a big con. No, one was in The Fifth Element, and the other one was uh, Captain Barbosa. Yeah, but there's character actors, so they both look like anybody at any given time. Yeah. All right. Are you still doing action adventure? Yes. In what Arnold Schwarzenegger movie does a magic ticket bring his character to life? Ooh, that is the, the, the last action hero. You're, yeah. you're too good for <laughs> this game. <laughs> Well, I want it to be like seen it where I mop the floor with you. All right. What category do you want? Action adventure. All right. In the 2012 film Sherlock Holmes, A Game of Shadows, sees what actor reprise his role as Sherlock Holmes? Oh, that's uh, Tony Stark, which is Robert Downey Jr. Yes. I was I was getting queued up to say the Rachel McAdams, but yeah. You threw me off there. You're going for... Uh, let's do horror sci-fi because I don't know drama and musicals all that well. True or false? The main character in Drag Me to Hell gets dragged to hell at the end of the movie. Uh, 
false? It is true. Oh, okay. I don't think you didn't. I've not see seen that. that one. I remember watching it while you were in basic training. I don't. Yeah, I didn't yeah. think you see you had seen that one. I thought it was a trick question. No, it's literally like everything's all done and over. We're fine now, and then he gets drugged down to hell. Oh, okay. All right, it's my turn, and you're playing with a water bottle. I'm, I'm parched. Uh, I want to do comedy cartoon, but I want to answer one about like a cartoon. You want to do comedy cartoon or? Uh, yeah, let's do it. Okay, Mrs. Robinson, you're trying to seduce me is a line from... Congratulate. Here. I'll do horror sci-fi again. <laughs> this this one's like... <sighs> who's not going to know this one? What horror series turned Freddy Krueger into an icon? A Nightmare on Elm Street. You are correct. Yay. I'm going to do dramacals. <laughs> Dramacals? Okay, that's that sounds like something you would describe on a person. How many Oscars did Katherine Hepburn win even, in her there. lifetime? What Four, is, six, or eight? What does that even have to do with movies? I, I'm gonna go with eight because she was really popular. Yeah, it was four. Ah! We're tied again. <laughs> All right, what do you want? Uh, horror sci-fi. True or false? The alien in Enemy Mine is male. False. Have you seen that movie? Yes, oh. it's uh, Dennis Quaid. Okay, well, the answer wants some more information than that. Well, it's kind of androgynous, does both. Ah, yeah, false, he is asexual. <laughs> it says true or false, now answer in a complete sentence. Yeah, that, uh, that doesn't sound right. <laughs> All right, let's, let's do horror. Is it about alien? <laughs> no, it's not. No, it's not. But it's a, it's a gimme for you. It's a, it's a layup. Um... Martians attack the Earth in this Tim Mars Burton attack. class. <laughs> I guess I'm oh. doing uh, dramacals. True or false? 2011's The Artist is a silent movie. I have not seen it, but I'm going to say true because it sounded like shouldn't, shouldn't yeah. be fair to guess your way into the answers. That that some people get that way on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. All right, let's see what. Give me action adventure. What film stars uh, stars Steve McQueen as a young poker player on his way mm. to the big time in 1930s New Orleans? Uh, I don't like <laughs> those old racing movies. Um, How is a poker player <laughs> racing? Is it the Maverick? No. Oh, that would have made so much sense. Okay. Because Maverick and poker and oh, I feel yeah. like those go together. It's a totally different franchise. Uh, no, it's Cincinnati Kid. I know we're never even heard of that. You're the Dramacals? Yep. Helen Mirren won the Best Actress Oscar beating out Meryl Streep for what 2006 movie? I know you didn't see this movie because I watched it alone too. Oh, man. Helen Mirren. I, just, I barely recognize her in movies. I'm going to have to say I don't know. It's the queen. Okay. Action adventure. Let's keep hoping for a good one. Oh, this one. You... Who is the Hulk? Like the actor? Or... Character. It's Bruce Banner, played by like 40 different people over the last two decades. Oh, All right. What war movie features the quote, I love the swell, smell of napalm in the morning. I love the swell. The sw <laughs> no, that, I believe that is uh, Apocalypse Now. It is. And. Uh, Let's see. It's like, it's, I feel like I could have caught up with you. Give, give me the chance. What's the next dramical question? What is outlawed in the Midwest town setting of foot Dancing. And? Singing? No. Dancing and rock music. Oh. I guess you really did beat me. Yeah. Boo. All right. I guess that is movies trivia the game. Movies trivia game. That doesn't sound like it flows off the tongue right. Movies trivia game. Very simple to play. You don't even need the paper if you do what we did. Make category cards. Well, it's, it's uh, the title's more of a uh, description of what's in the box. We should do it hard mode, and you have to answer every question on here to get the card. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I would not be able to do that. All right, well, that is your sample of how to play this game. I hope you have enjoyed, and we will see you next time, family members. Bye!
going to say bye. Bye. You said it while I was yelling at you. <laughs> bye. If you had fun watching today's video, don't forget to subscribe so that you can see more and let us know in the comments what other videos you might want to see in the future. Also, don't forget to check out our other channel, The Fan Girl, where we talk about all kinds of movies, TV shows, and even books and comics. But viewer discretion is advised. See you next time, family members!